Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. ...that Rakan and uh, the Varus can start to do a little bit more. And uh, obviously there was a ward in the top side for AL as uh, all in um, on to hope. Oh my god, Jackie on the side of the tower. The Ignite is there in the pierce to finish it off. Kale gets the auto, gets the Q to finish the answer. But in the meantime, Mako gets to crash this massive wave. Hope loses. They are on. However, big CS lead up top for Harry. Bit of a CS lead in the mid lane for Shanks as well. Obviously, Akali, early laning phase. Not exactly known for its dominance. Flash forward for the route onto Hope. He's got no summoners and he's got no health. Jackula finishing his second kill of the game. That was all of the back uh, off of that level. Yeah, nice try for AL. Tib is going to time out in the mid lane as well. And that means Cream now has ult advantage. And yes, Shanks has more health. Okay, sure, it can not quite there. But there's always threat from that Akali, especially from Cream. You know, Cream, I'm gonna hold that thought. Kale goes in in the bottom side. Double root comes out from Maker. One HP and take it down. Croco gets one for himself. Tien is here too, but level five Nocturne ain't bringing much to a fight. Might have flash. W comes in, Hope getting some damage down as Jackalove trying to return it. Shanks has even moved over to make sure this play. Alista is monstrous. However, AL answer on the opposite side. They've just got Hope our dodge entirely. He's going to join in on a top lane dive play. How often do you see this level of lane swap? It's a five-man play on 369. We were expecting that something was going to happen on the map. And since you're bullying Varus out of the entirety of the bot side, well, he has to find a way to get back to use the Renekton from early on out. Right here, they're looking for Jackie Love. Croco has sneaked into the pixel brush. There are flashes available. Jackie Love knocked up. The Pop Blossom will deny the all-in from Croco, but Mako now caught with the Fate's Call. Gets the knock-up onto Croco instead as Cream looking to finish off. Croco so low on HP, but gets Ooh. away from the flash from Cream. And now Cream's gone in too deep. Knocked up. Root comes out from Mako, but it's a one play for AL. Shanks with the kill, but here comes Tien. But it's 1v4. And in the meantime, Shanks just one-shots Jackie Love. AL are doing it. Oh my god. So miscoordinated by Tess. AL are catching them us. Renekton, 11 for Annie as well. One or two levels up for every single member on the top side of the map for AL. How in the world does Tien ever press R to dive into this team? Now, of course, there are oh, a few ways. That's oh, how. there's one. That's how. Hope's there's one. In the mid lane. Look at the damage coming out from Tien. There's the follow up. Mako finishes the job as Shanks. His Tibbers will answer one for one. So uh, it's an 80 cam we're watching. Yeah, they absolutely look a little bit lost on the map right here. They, commi they committed three members. They're still going to go in. There is ultimate on the Nocturne. Oh. Here's the chance. Root onto both of them as well. They've got the damage. Or do they? Harry somehow surviving. Finally goes down to 369, grabbing that kill. Finally, one of these knocked him. Now they have found 369, 369, or has 369 found that? Well, that's the question, isn't it? Q3 onto Croco. He may be forced to flash, but no goes in. Mako knocked away, though. Keeps himself safe. Everybody dashes away from the all-in from Kale. And now on the front line, Pot Blossom onto oh. two. Mako finds the engage in the face call, keeps him alive as well. Harry pulled away from the play, and Jackie Love uses him to jump out to safety, but Harry survives. And now Jackie Love knocked out. Shanks is burning through that health bar. Kale will walk away, and Shanks just needs one more Q, but Jackie Love gets out of range. Tien flashes to safety as well, but the hex gate is there from Harry, and he cuts another down. That shadow is banished as Hope looks for revenge for the laning phase that was a massive team fight from al ace for them they're gonna take that second dragon of the game and you said we said at the very beginning hey use that renekton and use that early to mid game power spike that you've got with the very fed absolutely such a crucial game for them very crucial game from Top Esports as well, who are going to pull TPs, trying to get a play on the side. Trying to go for this one, Shanks the target, but he flashes out to safety, it's 369 and a 1v4, so is Harry. Top lane is both trying to survive, Scream dives into the back line, 
One man pop blossom. Croco survives as Cream trying to threaten on the top side and ults out. One pick for the side of top esports, but can they escape? Croco now chasing. Cream still on that top side. They've got to be careful of that. Akali with just the all in onto Jackie Love. He backs away, trying to keep himself safe. Croco is going in, but Zien dives the backside. Kale barely walks away as Hope is taken down. 369 doing everything alongside Zien and Cream there to sweep up the kills. Bit contesting. I don't think they can go for the Drake. And it will be the Baron started now. AL have to respond. Yeah, I feel like Top Esports need to slam the Baron right here because they knew that something was going on over on the Dragon side and they have to trade neutral objectives. However, Croco is right here and he's looking for a way in. This is like infinite Ren stacks on the Baron. jackalov has been hitting it for so long. I don't know how high HP they can execute it from. It's 2,000 right now. Is in the Omega with a Pop Blossom. Baron still alive and AL have found their fight. Tien forced to flash out the backside of the pit. His Mako desperately trying to survive. Cream turns golden, but there's just no carry. The Callista is dead. Cream has to make a miracle happen, but he's shut down by Hope, who looks for a second as well. And AL, after throwing the game away, they find it back in their hands. What a gentleman's agreement right there. AL throw the game first, then top each map from AL. We mentioned how both Flash and Clans are very, very important for Jackie Love to play these teamfights. Well, neither nor actually helped him survive this one. Hope is basically a turret at this point as well on this Varus. Just TP to it while Paranoia is going down. Paranoia available. Knock up. There's the TP coming out from Cream behind the lineup of AL. GA available for Hope. They're going to try and get onto the virus, but he gets over the wall here. As Cream doing big damage on the backside of the fight. But in the meantime, Jackie Love trying to kite away. Hope, GA popped. Kale dives to the other side of the fight. Once again, as Shanks trying to survive, but Hope in a 1v1 with Jackie Love. And Jackie Love wins. Is that it's Shanks next as Jackie Love somehow survives it all. Harry chasing him down, though, and will finish the job. The rest of the team torn us. Thunder, Cream can't walk away. Jackie Love somehow gets another, but AL come out on top. AL are too tanky and into a team with three assassins, basically. Top Esports tried their best. We highlighted the TP ward, but... This is a disaster for Top Esports. Mako found, trying to get vision in the river. That's a free Baron now for the side of anyone's legend. And suddenly, this has gone from a close game to Hex, Take Soul and Baron for AL. Ooh, Croco found him instantly. Caught. So much used. Cream basically has no threat remaining. And this is a Baron push with Hextech Drake. Tien wants to go for the dive on the back line. This is the last ditch effort, last hero play for top esports. Here we go. Harry dives onto Jackie Love, though, and just keeps him away from the rest of the play. Tien gets one shot. And Cream doesn't have his ultimate. The solo lane is going, and Mako dies before his pop can blossom. And that's a triple kill for Hope. That's a bit of vengeance for the laning phase. And that is a 26 to 13 scoreline as AL take down top esports, doubling their kill. The Renekton, and they do want to play towards the top side of the map, try and get that Renekton ahead. We mentioned how Harry was so impactful uh, when, it came, when it came down to these team fights, where the Renekton had one and two were near. I mean, Bot Prio alone gives them a way into this Drake. It feels like AL want to contest for this one. Rend is available, so it should be the Drake taken a minimum by Top Esports. And now a charm onto Hope as well as Cream dives in for more. Kale trying to threaten as Mako. Low on HP. Ignites Shanks. He's like, okay, if I'm going to go down, I'm going to set you on fire first. But Jackie Love is low. Hope survived the bailout. Not enough. And now Cream caught as well. Sure, you got the Drake top, but at what cost? Wow. AL with another fantastic skirmish towards the bot side of the map. Take three with them. Tian is trying to fight for his solo Grom. Uh, he's winning. In the jungle, uh, he's, he's winning. one level up. Uh, Tien is solo killing Gronko as Lee Sin. As Sin really game plays feel really uncoordinated. It feels like they didn't actually realize AL were able to contest. Oh, Harry. Oh, no. The snipe. He's in bad. Uh, trouble, but actually Croco's moved up to the play as well. Cream ulting over to be a part of this one and finishes the job. Charm comes on through. Uh, Tien, I don't know what the hell that ult was, but Cream trying to finish the job. Croco gets out. A mega whiff <laughs> coming out. Botan as well. Hope throws his chain of corruption onto Jackie Love. I love the fact that he keeps throwing that R onto Jackie Love, trying to potentially bait 
an early cleanse. Oh. However, it is going to be a drag on 369 has sneaked in. That's the damage we were talking about. The kick comes through, but Cream is there. No Dark okay, Seal, much. unfortunately, but still a kill from the solo. One has still not quite finished his first item. This lethality virus as well for Hope, so a lot of presence when it comes to these neutral objectives. Cream kicked against the wall and almost one shot, but not one shot, importantly. And now Cream can move further into the play. Got a reset. Ooh. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, every single time, every single time. Listen. So Shanks has to just completely back away. Tien in the area. Mako and Tien have been joined. At the oh no, Mako! No! Oh, no! Surely not! Ult comes in from Cream to try and follow up, but cannot return enough I... damage. I have questions. I have so many questions. Clearly, Mako walked on a get a little bit more gold into the team right here, and they knew that they didn't necessarily have the setup. They don't. Peace. Oh, 369. 369. Either could be in trouble or could be making a sick flank play. Hard to say. Did he get spotted there? I don't know if Kale saw him. No, no, no. Okay, 369 goes in 1v3 to start the play off here. He's not that tanky. Remember, he went Eclipse first item. Oh. You cannot sit in three people for that long. Ah, you get control in the jungle. But top esports. Oh. Ultimate going to be used there by um. Hope. That's quite a big cooldown to use. And Shanks taking a huge chunk. Tien has gone in to try and get damage down. The aftershock keeps him alive for a bit. And Croco forced to flash back away. But no, the ignite finishes the job. Cream dashing away from this one. Croco kicks him against the wall of the pop blossom follows in as well. No bailout for you as Croco gets a double. And it's just as Baron spawns. AL are going to start the Baron as well. Very low HP bars, but the ESTP onto Shanks. 369 is coming in. Renekton is massive, and Shanks is not going to get allowed to TP back. Oh, Super boy. low HP bars. This feels tense. 369 has to carry this one. Jackalove in the play as well. Trying to get damage. Oh, but he's just so tanky already. Chunk out from Shanks. 6k on the Baron here. Health bars are pretty low for AL, and honestly, I don't know if AL wants to commit to this play anymore. 369 starts things off, and Harry goes in to try and get his team out. Shanks is on the wrong side of the map, though, and there's no tower in that top lane. He's probably going to fall, too. That's a double for Jackie, and once again, top side find themselves back in the game. Oh, my God, the bounce back right here. The HP bars were too low for AL. Shanks is not allowed to reset has no mana and he's also tanking the baron has to flash out of the back of the pit and by oh. that time tien is back it's a oh. kick it's a kick i think that's jackie love down i'm not sure of the setup it's two for al cream now looking for a charm as well bit of damage out but al what a f what a fight what a moment crocker with a great kick now looking for 369 as well bit of damage returned but the honey fruit will set it up and soul denied that's a huge pick right here from AL denying the soul. As you mentioned, also slowing down the Baron so crucially. Imagine if that was Baron completely demolish. Croco. Top Esports' is bot lane. Croco looks good today, but not as good as 369. This time he can 1v3. Takes a kill for himself. Look at the sustain. Who's going to get a second? Oh, Kale Ooh. just about lives through it. My God, 369. He is taking matters into his own scaly hands. What's this for, though? What's this for? We see all of these skirmishes going down. The Ten of Corruption going to go down again. They're looking for Mako. In control of the river right now. Might you say, though, those deep wards maybe make it worth it with TPs available for Cream and 369. No universe. Top Esports can fight for mid prio here. It's Cream just desperately trying to clear the way from a distance. Croco. Looking for the Croc! Oh my lord, that's a hell of an engage from Kale. And suddenly things look good for Top Esports. They managed to turn around, and 369 wants to be that carry. Hope chased out of the backside of the fight. That's a big. Crocodile and top esports, they find control again. AL over push right there and get caught. They overcommit onto Renekton and Renekton bites them back. There's two crocodiles on the rift right now and 369. 369's spot in his tower, Tien. Tanking on the front line. That's big damage onto Harry. Forced away. Croco trying to 1v1 369. I'm not sure that's a 1v1 that he um. wins, though. 369 pushes him away. Uh, I think Jackilo could just finish this tower without a minion wave. That'll be two inhibs for top esports without even needing a single kill. Yeah, absolutely incredible from top esports. The engage just to create enough space to do that. Right now, same for Cream as well, level 17. 
and you can see 4.2 thousand gold from that Baron. It's a 6k gold lead. Now we go another ult lands from TN. Big damage. It's turned back on to Tien though. He's maybe overcommitted. Croco goes in to try and finish it. Bailout in play, but it's not enough. And AL, maybe this is the moment. But Cream is looking to sweep things up. The all out is actually going to take Harry out of position. And now 369 just wanders under the tower. What looks like a pick for AL. Wait, Jackie Love is taking that fight. The man's insane, but it works out anyway. 15 to 11, and Tess go even in the series. Top Esports finally managed to pick up this victory. It looked grim at the beginning, much. I'm not gonna lie to you. 369 was not there, but he manages to enter the fight and they turn it around, equalizing the score versus AL. My God. <sighs> Nothing but clean. Oh, shanks to get the knockback. I feel like it's a very similar concept of a champion, a very linear concept of a champion. You see champion, you run a champion, you go in. Uh, it's a very similar concept. A ward on both sides. Hope is even here as well as Kale. Jackie Love moving in. Spotted by Shanks here. Bit of damage coming up through. Shanks actually ignited. This is a full on scrap at level one. Croco, level two though. The only one in the game to hit level two at this point. Cream forced to flash away. They're chasing for more. AL, what a way to start the game. Same theme as game one. Go. But the wave being pushed in bot by Jackie Love means the bottom lane from top esports can move in. Croco at best is just he looking for a for steal a here. Steal? But Shanks is there, so is Kale. This feels like commitment. Okay, Croco Ooh. spotted now. Surely that means they can't go for this one. Tien committing to a play. Crescent Guard comes on out to keep himself safe. And that little bit of pressure from Tien is enough to get the Drake. Mako gets on the right side of the wall as Shanks goes in for a little bit more. Culling to zone everyone away. And Cream threatens on the backside of the play as well. But everyone jumps on to Jackie Love. The Wild Growth knocks them skyward. And AL pull the trigger. Double for Hope. And Top overconfident and punished. Off of the back of Shanks with a fantastic wall. The tr like you say, 369 going to be late to the play. All they want it. AL have started things off here. Tien moves in, gets a pink ward into that brush to get vision. Harold's already down to 5k. Oh, he's just gonna flash oh. for this one. Shanks caught out and annihilated. Snap decision making from top esports and Herald secured. Tien with a fantastic flash dash in to catch Shanks. He knew that Shanks didn't have flash from the previous play that just happened. So this is going to be Reef on then. Top esports, despite the fact that they are one to three in kills this is more reminiscent of what we saw early in the split shanks positioning for a wall here the wall they will be able to catch him but croco it's gone pretty deep jackie love flashes away from the knockup croco trying to set up but the bubble lands again from mako croco gets a heal keeps himself alive but the root's gonna land so much damage from top esports 369 he wants it dashing forwards but the rock stun Ooh. it doesn't matter cream finds it insane this is a disaster uh, mid lane, Jackie Love is pressuring your tier two. He has Baron. He can pressure your tier three right here. AL, you're taking Dragon and trading it for an inhibitor. Yeah, one one cloud Drake for an inhib top esports. They'll take that trade. That's more like a cloud any Drake. Day of the week. Yeah, exactly. I can hear the six music in the background. Yakety sax playing for us. Oh, oh god, it's three to three. That'll be a mid inhib for Jackie Love. And also, a tier two tower is being pushed by Cream as well. AL have done so well. In page, us players with each other. Right here, this looks so darn clean. Yeah. No over aggression from the Lushanami. Always covering oh. the bot side. Come on, 369. It's a 2v1. What you got? TP from Shanks, but Jackie Love is here as well. I don't know if it is a 2v1. It is a 2v1. I take it all back. Okay. <laughs> Shanks gets himself <laughs> the shutdown. Jackie Love was trying to get in, but Shanks getting the TP. Walls over as well. That's a shutdown onto 369. Big pick for AL, but unfortunately, there's not really anything up on the map for them to take. It's literally as we're saying how clean they are, right? It's literally as we're saying, hey, they're very clean. <laughs> they're, they're they're playing very controlled, but not as controlled. Croco oh, does back in. The double bubble coming out from Mako. Shanks is found by Tien's W as well. Blasco gets him out to safety, but Croco can only tank for so long. Another start to the split.
Here we go, Wall coming in. Can they find it? Jack Hilo potentially found, but the tidal wave comes out. The culling is there Ooh, as well. Huge. The goal difference is just too massive. In they go into the base. Cream flashing forwards for more as well. He might just die for his trouble, but it will not matter at all. Wind becomes lightning. NAL with that will be knocked out of playoff contention. Top esports can finish this last inhib. They can walk the minions in and they can push themselves into contention for second place. There's one hope left for AL and it's in the name. One Zeri, one hope, one last man standing, four members of top esports, no towers left. <laughs> Make your to the tower. He lost all his health to the tower and he died to a different tower. But the Nexus will fall and top esports these were some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.